as you go through African productions and other productions, you will see a lot of productions that incorporate music to a large extent. But the music, it's not integral to the plot. It's not integral to the storyline, basically. So you can actually do without the music. And he actually said that, when I was asking for the definition of musical theater, what, what was the one element he talked about? Music. In musical theater, you cannot do without the music. Right? Questions for me. Questions from those at home? So, Lacey, someone has something in the. Thank you. So. Yeah. Thank you. No, thank you. <laughs> um, so, does anybody has anybody had the name for that? Nobody. So, Fela is a Nigerian activist. I think I said that. Uh, maybe not. He is a Nigerian activist, singer, songwriter, he actually invented the music style Afrobeat. So I know that a lot of Caribbeans and African, um, African Americans are into Fela's music, which is why I said, does anybody know the artist Fela? Um, so Fela was um, a musical icon in Nigeria, but because of his music, his, political, his music was constantly politically charged. Uh, that is, it, it's, it's purported that uh, because of his political charged music, the government arrested Fela over 200 times in Nigeria. Right? And everyone they had was just threw him in jail. And they gave me a reason why they threw him in jail, right? They always had a reason. Whether it was him or whether it was the government, they were just throwing him in jail. And so at every, for every altercation that he had with the government, he had a song about it. Right? And so, Fela's music was actually, um, or Fela himself was actually, um, Fela, so Fela, Fela and his music became the storyline for a Broadway production in 2009. Right? So, there was a Broadway production about Fela in 2009. Um, that was, I think there were producers like Jay-Z, Beyonce, Will Smith, those were some of the producers for that production. And, um, and so for the first time, eventually, um, I think that production actually won um, the best choreography, Tony Awards for the best choreography, Tony Awards for the best dance. So you can see snippets of it on YouTube if you want to. So there was a Tony Awards for the best choreography, there were three Tony Awards that it won. Um, that specific production. And so, Fela eventually uh, went on a world tour and visited his home in Nigeria, right? And so, that was the first, first ever knowledge of musical theater, Western, so I'll try and use the word Western now to, to at least to differentiate between what I'm talking about. So that was the first ever understanding of Western musical theater to Nigerians. Of course, not for people who were well traveled that were going out of the country and were seeing productions, but within the Nigerian landscape in itself, this was the first ever production that visited Nigeria, the Walls of Bella. Right? Um, so I talk a bit, does anybody know what jukebox musical is? Okay, what is jukebox musical? Um, it's where the music is not originally written. Yeah, absolutely. Well, thank you. You've made my little bit. You've made my job so much easier. But yes, um, two books musicals are musicals where um, the music is not original. A lot of producers and directors claim that jukebox, music, jukebox musicals are lesser musicals, right? That they don't have any, for want of a better word, meat to it. It's the like, the, the fact that you already have the music situated for them says that 
the work is already done, nobody's putting any work. But also, for me, it guarantees that people who love those works will actually be in the theater to see the production. And so for me, I feel like that was one of the reasons why Nigeria, not just the fact that Fela was also a beautiful musical, because it was centered around Fela and his music, right? It was also the fact that you were also, if you wanted to try something new, you wanted to be sure that people were going to come show up at the theater. So I think a lot of producers that went into musical theater in Nigeria used the jukebox style just to ensure that there were people that were going to be in the theater to see the productions. And so far, they've succeeded. Right? And they talked about a jukebox musical um, that tells the story of the Nigerian activist, composer, musician, and inventor of Afrobeat music. Fela was a target of the Nigerian government because of his politically charged songs, which criticized them for their corruption and intimidation of their citizens. So, um, one of the things we say today is Fela, Fela passed in 1997, so Fela has passed for over 20 years, but most of the things that Fela sang about, about the Nigerian society is still evident today, right? A lot of those are still happening.